Good morning students how are you i hope you all are doing very well in today's class we will be learning about agriculture and uh, there were, there are few questions that will be uh, explained in this chapter that uh, what is agriculture uh, what are the seasons of agriculture in india why do we eat a certain kind of food in our country or in a particular region why your food is being eaten so the first question is what is agriculture if we go uh analytically then we will be getting the answer very easily that uh, agriculture means growing up of crops fruits vegetables and rearing of livestock just uh, it's a basic answer to this question ki kisi bhi fasal ka utpadan karna phoolon ka utpadan karna phalon ka utpadan karna janwaron ko palna do use ke liye ek to iska commercial benefit bhi hota hai and also for uh, self uh, पर्पज मैं अगर खेती बाड़ी कर रहा हूँ एक किसान अगर खेती बाड़ी करता है तो उसके दो पर्पज़ होते हैं पहला वो कुछ हिस्सा अपने लिए रखता है और दूसरा हिस्सा जो है बेचता है मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट इज़ बींग सोल्ड आउट फॉर द अदर पीपल अगर एक किसान किसानी नहीं करेगा देन इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर द पर्सन लिविंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड टू सर्वाइव विदाउट ईटिंग फूड बिकॉज वी आर नॉट Agriculture is the nowadays, if you will see, a job that more than fifty percent of the people of world acquire as a as their part of life. They do agriculture. They believe in agriculture, and they are, it is their part of life. But the rest part of the world, the rest population of the world, they actually do not uh, do kind of rearing or any other sort of work which uh, falls under agriculture. instead they there are many other things which uh, people you might have seen are doing like uh, uh, working as a software engineer developer or working in a private school or many other things you might be understanding what i am saying so you have understood that what is agriculture now coming on to india if you will see there are three main seasons of agriculture in india they are kharif rabi and zaid what is kharif what is rabi and what is zaid that i will be explaining you kharif actually it starts with the onset of ma- monsoon uh, since india is a peninsula country and we do have a season which is known as monsoon in which we get a hefty amount of rainfall every year and there are some crops which uh, need a lot of water for cultivation like paddy is among them maize is among them so such crops which require a lot of water for cultivation are grown during this season of kharif okay uh, next season is rabi rabi season starts with the starting of winter from the time of october you can say the late september or the october the starting of october the seeds are sown and later in the month of january the last of january or just before the spring the crop is being reaped so there are many things many crops like wheat and uh, jowar these all fall under rabi crop and they are cultivated in most of the northern part of india yes there are some uh, places in india as well where we do have uh, a rainfall in the winter season just like west bengal is a part and during that time also where which part is having rainfall uh, paddy is being grown there the last one is zaid zaid is actually the summer season of uh, crop cultivation you can say uh, where um, it it uh, is a kind of a season where uh, mostly fruits and vegetables are being sown like cucumber watermelon etc and they are generally being uh, sown just uh, near the bank shows or uh, ponds you can say the river banks near lakes Uh, since these are the vegetables or fruits or crops you can say which require a lot of water you might have seen that uh, the fruits which are available the fruits or the vegetables which are available in the time of summer have uh, more than 70 to 80 percent of water content in them like cucumber you have eaten jise hum hindi mein khira khira kehte hain and watermelon tarbooz jise kaha jata hai ya kai jagah par kalingad ya kalinda jo bhi aap uh, samajhte hain kaha jata hai so it has a lot of water in it so this this kind of cultivation is done during the time of summer when the water is not available now there might be a question in your mind that 
why these crops are not being so, uh, sown during the time of uh, uh, Kharif or Rabi. See, this crop requires water and uh, during the time of, uh, if you, uh, uh, you might be saying Kharif, so what actually happens when they grow in summer, they already have 70% of water in them or sometimes more content of water. But uh, when you will sow them in uh, the time of Kharif or during the monsoon season, what will happen? The, the seed will get destroyed because आप ये समझिए कि जब गर्मी में ये उगाया जाता है तब इसमें 70 से 80 प्रतिशत तक पानी होता है जबकि पानी की कमी होती है इफ द सीड्स विल बी सोन ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ मॉनसून आपको आपकी फसल सफल होगी ही नहीं वो उग ही नहीं पाएगी और वो पूरा पानी के कारण खराब हो जाएगी यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट ओके नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट इज शिफ्टिंग एग्रीकल्चर शिफ्टिंग is a practice of agriculture which is mostly done in some part of uh, Amazon basin, Southeast Asia and uh, some part of our country also it is being done. What actually is being done there in shifting agriculture, a part of land is being is selected for cultivation. Zameen ke ek tukde ko choose kiya jata hai cultivation ke liye. Aur us jungle ke ilake mein jis zameen ko choose kiya gaya hai, jo bhi peed paude vanaspati hoti hai, usko kaat kar giraya jata hai and they are burnt. जलने के बाद जो उसकी राख बचती है उसको सॉइल में मिला दिया जाता है जस्ट फॉर न्यूट्रिय न्यूट्रियट पर्पज एंड देन द क्रॉप्स आर सोन एक बार फसल लगती है दो बार फसल लगती है एंड फाइनली देर इज अ टाइम व्हेन द सॉइल लूजेस इट्स फर्टिलिटी अपनी ज़मीन अपनी उर्वरकता को खो देती है और उसके बाद जो कल्टिवेटर होता है ज़मीन को वैसे ही छोड़कर दूसरे स्थानों पर चला जाता है इस प्रैक्टिस को अब बहुत जगहों पर बंद कर दिया गया है क्योंकि इट एक्चुअली इज़ वेस्ट ऑफ लैंड एक बार आप उस जंगल पर को पेड़ों को काट देते हैं वहाँ के चीज़ों को जला देते हैं देन नथिंग एल्स कैन बी ग्रोन देयर बाय इट आपको फिर वहाँ कल्टिवेशन करना होगा एंड मोर ओवर द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल लूज इज ग्रेजुअली सो आई होप यू माइट हैव अंडरस्टूड द चैप्टर एंड यू प्लीज गो फॉर द नोट्स दैट आर बिंग गिवन टू यू ओवर द व्हाट्सएप And that's all for today's video. Thank you. Jai Hind. Vande Mataram.